All right, hello there guys, it's Mercy and welcome back to another product review. And today I'll be doing a review on the BTL Gretza Venser. No, BTL Venser Gretza. And um, before I continue with this review, I just want to give a quick disclaimer that this uh, particular unit is sent out by me by my good friend at Keep.Nice uh, uh, at Shopee. They import a lot of good stuff and they sent me a unit of the BTL Gretza for me to try. And do a re they didn't even ask me to do a review on but I just feel like it's a really good mouse and you know I'm here to do a review and I just want to uh, say that any words that come out from my mouse regarding this mice is my honest opinion noted okay good so first of all I'm gonna start with the shape and um, it's a really good shape straight out of that I don't feel like I have to sugarcoat this or hide this in any way the shape is really really good it's a small to medium size it's medium size mouse and uh, it has a length of 123 uh, millimeter. Let me see, I have it written here at the script. And the widest point of this mice is 62, and it's about 37 high at the peak of this mice. So it's a really nice medium mouse. And the closest competitors I, I have at the moment with me is the GPRX Superlight. They feel like around the same size. Um, the G uh, the BTL Gretza is slightly shorter in terms of length and in height. So it, it it's enough for it to be a different shape. And for me, with my 19 by 10 uh, size dimension, I find myself really liking this with claw grip, but someone with larger hand or even me, I can 100% fingertip this and it feels really good because of how aggressive the taper is. So the shape for me is a really nice, it's a different kind of G Pro, I think, because the G Pro feels really safe. This feels really intentional, the shape uh feels really nice for like claw grip like i i love relaxed claw and this is like one of the best uh, mice that help you with that it's slightly too short in terms of height uh for me i that, that's the reason why i still think the gpx suits me a lot more for that relaxed um claw grip type but overall the shape is really really nice the build quality of this mice is also really good it weighs at 69 grams well that's what they um, put it on the website but for me I got about 71 gram with the grip tapes on 71 grams there we go it has holes it has this really cool hearts and diamond holes compared to like you know um, hexagons circles so the holes is really unique but again at 70 grams the mice is actually really solid side to side has barely any creaks barely any flex to it I can not actuate the side buttons at all like I can with the Orochi uh, the top to bottom has zero creaks, zero flex again. The, the build quality is just really solid. And the only part where I find to have some slight creaking after like heavy two week of usage is behind here, but it's so minor that even if like, I, I, I would not you know point it out, but I have to, it's my, it's my job here. So the build quality, really solid. The weight at 70 grams is also really good. Um, it is very perfectly balanced, as you guys can see. It's not back heavy, not front heavy. And on my MPC 900, it makes the mice feel actually pretty light as well. I have zero complaints about the weight. And this is from a guy that used a 50 gram mice as his daily driver. So again, 70 grams, no issue, really good build quality and a really nice shape. Now, the buttons on this mice has been modded and it's not using the original TTC gold switches it's using a japanese omron so it's not true to like what you'll get stock but from other people's review that i've seen the ttc gold sounds amazing this one the japanese omron is really light to actuate um, it feels really nice in game especially when you play league uh, it's one of the fastest actuating uh, feeling switches that i own at the moment it's just really really lightly but it also have some accidental um, touches for me in game so it's probably not my favorite switches but if you're looking for the really fast clicks this is one of the best one uh, I, I would try to find a full code name for this armor switches uh, down in the description below now the side buttons is also really good um, there is some post travel to um, mouse button 4 and, uh, but the mouse button 5 feels really solid. They are both really tactile, they're not mushy at all, um, and they're really easily spammable. I don't know what switches are in these, but they feel really good, so that's all that matters, right? Uh, the scroll wheel is also really good. It's probably one of my favorites. Not, I don't know if it's my top one, but it's one of those, like it's really high up there. It's a really good um, feeling in terms of scrolling. It's not rattly, it doesn't, it's not loud like the GPX. 
you know, so it's a really good scroll wheel. It's also really easy to press. So I have zero issue mapping some game binding here because it's just really easy to spam. And um, yeah, honestly, really good scroll wheel. Uh, the bottom, we have our on off switch, our um, LED button. So this one turns off all the LEDs, including the DPI and the LOD button. So um, the only one you need to remember is red. When it's on red, it's on 1000 Hertz. That's the only thing you need to remember because I don't remember anything else. Uh, okay, there we go. So blue is 125, green is 500, and the only important one is the red. So if you're using this mice as your daily driver, put it on 1000 Hertz, red color, and forget it. Okay, good. <laughs> um, next, okay, since I'm here, I'll give you a sound test. And uh, so here you go. All right, so sound test is done. Now we're gonna talk about this uh, feeds. So these are stock. I did not change them for any third party, not, no core pads, no um, you know, tiger eyes, whatever, this is stock. And to me, after a break-in period, they are one of the, one of the really good stock ones. Um, it's really nice to guide on on my MPC 900. It's really fast. Um, and it, it feels it just feels really nice. I never feel like I need to change this to a third party like I did with the GPX It's not scratchy. It just feels really um, Really good. So again stock feeds no complaint there at all. Let's talk about the sensor now This is using the 3370 3370 And no complaints at all the um, default LOD is 2 millimeter but once you download the driver, you can put it down to one and it's really, really good. There's barely any DPI deviation and I have zero issue with tracking, flicking and anything. So that, yeah, like the 3070 is really well implemented. That's the way I was looking for. So it's a really good sensor. And uh, while we're at the sensor, the wireless performance of this mice is also really good. The, this is the V2 variant. So there's barely any dropouts, barely any delay. Uh, there's no, you know, I, I, I don't feel like I'm scared to use this on a competitive level because it's just really, really responsive. I play Osu on this, moving really fast and zero issue, Valorant flicking, no issue. So sensor and wireless performance is nothing you have to be afraid of because it's a really, really good um, performance. All right, so sensor and wireless aside, now we need to talk about the battery. So this one has 500 milliamp hour battery in it and it's, and it's rated at 69 hours of usage continuous. So that's like 69 uh, fully used without stopping. And I, I, I can kind of agree, I've used this mice for two weeks really heavily and I only had to charge it once. So it's basically pretty much identical to the GPX in terms of battery experience for me at least. I use both for two weeks and only charge them once and um, they charge really quick too. This one is charged via type C. So if you are those type C gamers, this has you covered, it's type C. And speaking about cable, the included cable is honestly really, really good. I have wrapped them up because I need to send this back. All right, okay, so the included cable is honestly really, really soft. They are bundled like this. So at first when you take it out, it's gonna kink a bit, but put, putting this on a bungee they're basically wireless again so and while we're talking about the packaging they also include a extra feet so if this one goes spoiled you can always change it to a new one and they have a usb adapter so you can put it closer at the moment i'm using the gpx's um usb adapter so i don't see a need for the uh, btl gretzas all right so now we talk about i'm pretty sure we covered everything else right Okay, wait, the texture. The texture is also really grippy. I have mine in this pearl white colorway and I've played without the grip tape once and it's super duper grippy. I've never, I have zero issue with having it controlling my fingers. But the only problem I have is with the holes design. So they have hearts and diamonds on all sides, by the way. So you, can, you, can, you guys can see it's peeking out right here. And the only problem I have with this mice is that one hole on this right side, the thumb side, which is the diamond hole, have an issue because after like really long, like, like continuous of gaming, I find that it digs on my thumb and it's really uncomfortable. So I just slap the grip tape back on and I'm like, yeah, this is much more better. Honestly, it feels nicer anyway. I tried to clean it, but you guys can probably still see some dark spots where I continuously grip the mice. So um, yeah, honestly, if you want the Venser Gretsa and you find 
the diamond shape to be really uncomfortable just buy the grip tape slap it on and um yeah it, it fixes the issue it's really nice for now yeah there's barely any bad things i hate about this mice it's probably because i'm spoiled with lighter weight mice like 50 60 i wish that this weight can reach that 60 gram as well but with the feature set the build quality that they're offering it's really hard to argue, especially at the price point of 70 US dollars. That's on Addis Inc. If you buy from X-Ray Pad, it's about 100 US dollars. So your prices may vary, but at that price point of 70 to 80 to 90, it's a really hard mice to, uh, hard mouse to complain about because everything else is really, really good. Yeah, I just really like the shape. I, it, it's sad that I have to send it back, but yeah, like it's, it's one of my, if not one of my favorite ambidextrous shape over here. Like, if you guys know the X-T3, it's not even close. The S2 shape here is nice. It, it's nicer for me to claw, but it doesn't offer me the same maneuverability that the um, Gretza provides. I think that's about it. There's no nothing else to uh, speak about. I've covered everything. And um, yeah, it's a really good mice. If you guys have any question regarding this gaming mouse, you know, if you want me to compare with like, you know, the, uh, the X-T3, the Orochi, or even the GPX, leave a comment down in the description below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can, I know. YouTube notification sucks, but still, I'll try to answer them. And uh, I'll leave Keep.Mice Shopee link down in the description below. He sells like mouse pads, um, grips. So if you guys are from Malaysia and you're looking for some things that is a bit cheaper than the retailers, I'll leave his store down in the description below. And uh, if it wasn't for him, this review would not be possible. So again, huge thanks to Keep.Mice for this unit. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, you know? Thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever you guys want. And if you guys haven't subscribed already, why not? I do a lot more. I have a lot more review coming up for future videos like the GPX, and the Prime. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next one. Peace.